Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, June 5th, 2024. This is Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media on summer break. Thursday, June 6th, tomorrow we'll have a new moon, so nothing to see. The sun is very active on this half, and so we have most of the sunspots uh, facing us right now. This is the cluster that two weeks ago gave everybody a Friday and Saturday aurora, even in uh, Colorado. So it's in that, almost in that same position again. We'll see what happens. Looking at drought over the last two weeks, things are getting a little drier up in the north, out in the southeast plains, and out in the southwest. Nationwide, decrease overall of drought, so that's nice. Just in New Mexico and West Texas, a little bit of Kansas is having uh, some difficulty. Looking at smoke, everything is in Mexico, Central America down here, North America, and not coming much up into the states, nothing in Colorado at all. Okay, here's our quasi-animation of snowfall still going. It's so hard to get these to match frame to frame. I guess they weren't really meant, meant to do that. Here's our current, and though it's not a lot of snow, we are at 170% at this point in the season, which you can see is just a little bit above that green line. So, you know, it's better than not having snow. So we are above normal. Okay, so I'm still learning how this rainfall site now works. Instead of doing the last week, which was very convenient, uh, that's not an option anymore. And it's the uh, calendar month, it looks like. So since June 1st, this is the rainfall that has fallen. Yeah, not very useful tool. But this is all I've got right now. I'll keep hunting the interwebs for more. Looking at the animation for severe weather, and that might matter when it comes to, I think that's it, yep, sorry, uh, this upcoming weekend, so we definitely are getting close to our peak severe weather uh, chances. And looking over the next three days, Wednesday, Thursday, we have nothing on Wednesday, Thursday at least a chance of convection, but not much. Friday, better chance of convection with a marginal out here. That, of course, might be extended back to the west a little bit as that day's data comes in. Look at the surface map. We're just under a high-pressure ridge. Fronts are far away, and we're getting hot. Thursday, a little chance of uh, convection south of us, according to this map, and then better coverage on Friday, but still not great. We'll wait for the weekend. So here's the current few days, here's Friday, and there's the weekend. You can see really good storm chances for about four days in a row. Our normal high temperature is rising from 79 to 82, normal low from 49 to 52. We have this cooler period in here with the additional rain and instability, so it'll be nice. It'll be good for lawns. Mine's got lots of crispy places on it, even with a sprinkler system. Look at moisture, very dry over most of Colorado. There's some high clouds here, so that's kind of messing up the measurement there. Big thunderstorms down in North Texas, Oklahoma. The only really notable thing I decided to pull out in the stills is the start of the stormy period. Saturday afternoon, you can see some good thunderstorms pop up. But there really isn't anything in the upper air supporting it because we're switching into summer and now it's more heat and moisture. And these little ripples here, I got little dashes, little troughs. They don't resolve well on this um, map, but you can see hints of them there and all the jagged lines. And that doesn't necessarily have to be where they're going to be either. Uh, just just indication that there's lots of rip, little ripples coming through. What does matter is this above normal um, atmospheric precipitatable water content. And that's really high, especially around the front range right here for Saturday p.m. and beyond. So let's take a look at the animation and watch that happen. So as we go into Thursday and Friday, there's just a big ridge in the west. You can see ridge, ridge, ridge. That's a big uh, traveling of the air north and then south over us. High pressure center almost cutting off right in there. Um, so yeah, you wouldn't expect that to be very stormy. Now we're starting to get some depression of the ridge, kind of flattening of it, north winds on this side of the, the ridge. That's usually where subsidence is occurring and you don't get storms, so the middle of the week it will dry out. 
So let's look at temperatures. There is a cold front that's going to backdoor its way in. Um, by the end of the week, you can see the heat here all over the west. See all the cool air out on the plains. Here comes another push. And that one actually makes it up to the mountains and those little pools of purple that appear for a moment there. Oh, uh, thunderstorm cooling. So here it comes there. Uh, and then the cold front kind of slips on down into Texas. The thunderstorms go down there with it. We have a drying period in the middle of the week and maybe more storminess at the end of the week right there. So let's look at this moisture in the atmosphere that's going to allow the instability to take off some more. I bet we have severe weather to watch out for this weekend. So stay tuned to your apps. We just don't have any forecast that goes out that far. But you can see lots of abnormal moisture through the weekend and into the beginning of the week. And then because we're on the wrong side of the ridge, things stabilized. But there's still a fair amount of moisture around into the middle of next week. Looking at dew points, watch for these 40s and 50s to look back in here. We got going into Friday, there, there's 50 dew points briefly, there's 50 the next afternoon, 55, 52, 54. Yeah, that yellowy orange is very high moisture for us. And so that's the fuel that we need for the thunderstorms is moisture down at the surface into Tuesday even. And we drop back to the 40s. The moisture is not far, but again, the air is sinking until the end of the week. And that's about it. There's the moisture returning by the end of the week. So let's take a look at these thunderstorms pop up after uh, every afternoon and travel off uh, to the east of us. There's Friday afternoon, not much. Saturday noon, Saturday afternoon, good storms there. Pretty good coverage on Saturday. That's our probably our stormiest day. Sunday kind of stays to the mountains, but some might come out. Tuesday, there's a wave heading out. And then we get into Wednesday afternoon, and not much except up in the mountains. Thursday, better storms in the mountains, and then traveling out. And then Friday next week, yeah, it's kind of hit or miss. Saturday, some storms. So over the next five days, we could see some areas that get really good rainfall amounts. It's wherever the thunderstorms uh, travel, and if there's any training involved, that would be great. Over the next 10 days, yeah, definitely places get moisture, especially, well, almost anywhere could get an inch or two of moisture, while other places miss out with a quarter inch or a half inch or so. So very warm on Wednesday, almost 100. Uh, dropping down a little bit on Thursday. Friday, we shoot back up into the mid-90s, and we begin to cool down Saturday through Tuesday with uh, really good chances of storms on Saturday and pretty good chances Sunday through Tuesday. Oh, uh, Just to say goodbye to the Longmont Leader, that did get closed down by its parent company out of Canada, and so this slide will be gone now. I'm no longer writing an article over there, so sorry about that. Uh, Longmont Leader is uh, gone. So this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth wishing you to keep looking up.